The Holocaust was the worst atrocity of the 20th century, but 21st century technology is allowing survivors to teach new generations so that it is never forgotten and never repeated. Henry Flesher of Aventura is one of those survivors, and for years he's spoken to groups about his experiences. But now, at the age of 92, you could say he's gone viral. Isn't it crazy, though, that here you are using modern technology, 21st century technology, to reach so many more people? It amazes me. The whole thing amazes me. A few weeks ago, Henry's grandson flew down to visit from New York with an idea. He wanted to use the Internet to allow people to ask his grandfather about the Holocaust. As part of the site Reddit's popular Ask Me Anything online forum, Henry had never heard of Reddit, but he was game. He told me it would be very interesting. He was very excited to tell me, but I didn't understand until uh, later on. Until you started he doing asked it. me a question. Yeah. He asked me a certain question. I didn't know that uh, I will, it will be so fantastic that everybody's interested still to know what was going on 70 years, 71 years ago. Almost 9,000 questions were submitted. Henry would answer, his grandson would type. As a survivor of six different concentration camps, a popular question, how did he make it out alive? I went day by day. That and uh, I brought food to these different barracks, which I got the barrel to scrape out. And then I used to take chances at night to seal a potato or a carrot or something else. You had to be Taken, taken up certain moments. He said that he and his fellow prisoners were told flat out that they would never make it out alive, but that he never believed it for himself. Some people took it serious and they gave up life. I went along and I said, I'm here. And every day I went out and I still saw the sun. And I did so long I could. I had a, a, a wife and a daughter. April 11th, 1945, he was finally liberated. His second birthday, he calls it. He tells his story because it needs to be told. If technology can help him do that, fine, but he's still pretty old fashioned. Do you text? Do you? No, I don't text. No? No, I will not text, you what know. What kind of a phone do you have? Oh, it's a flip phone. Flip phone. <laughs> yeah. I don't text, there's a reason for it. I want to talk to my kids, I want to talk to my grandchildren. And talk he does. He also dances and travels. In June, he's going to Berlin to see the Holocaust Museum there. I make reservation. Then I know you go, you do things. We step into the South Florida sun. He puts on his shades. Well, I think some people would live through what you lived through, the horror, yeah. and they would be, they would not be able to recover mentally. But you see, yesterday's gone. To me, yesterday's history. Today's reality, tomorrow's a dream. And I live with that. I can't do nothing. I can't do nothing. I can't go back. I want to go forwards. Well, we could all learn a thing or two from Henry Flesher for sure. The Holocaust Memorial on Miami Beach is about to host this year's Holocaust Remembrance Day. That's on Sunday, May the 1st. And speaking of technology, visitors can download the memorial's app in order to enhance their visit. And you can look at the app on your phone, Ruta Bay. You can also look at the app from the comfort of your own home. You don't have to be at the museum, at the memorial, when you pull up the technology. It's really an amazing thing. I was playing around with it the last several days, and they've got some unbelievable information on there. Yeah, it's just something you never could have predicted would evolve in this way. And what an inspirational story he has. Uh, he is something. It must have been so fun to talk to him. I, it was an honor to meet him. Yeah. It really was.